I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Jesus does Lent first. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you like what we're doing at Higher Things, like our videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things content and donate. A tax-deductible gift to higherthings.org keeps us making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. And if it's for kids, we old people get gifted too. Give today. A look at the traditional gospel lesson for the first Sunday in Lent. Jesus was led by the Spirit. And that word can also mean driven by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by to Diabolu. Uh, that's the devil. And having fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. I say this over and over again. And sometimes it gets me in trouble. And I'm going to keep saying it until we get it. Lent is first and foremost about Christ. You even see it in the text. This Sunday, Jesus is tempted. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, before we do a 40, and I don't mean beer, there I mean fast, Jesus does a 40. Before we fast, he fasted. And his fast counts for us. And his fast gives life to our fast and gives meaning to our fast and gives repentance to our Lent. Look, I understand that we've been taught, we've been conditioned, even in Lutheranism, that Lent is about our sacrifice for God, that Lent is about what we give up and focusing our attention on God. And I won't dispute that to a point, but before that happens, before we start talking about what we're giving up, before we focus our attention on what's going on in our religion and in our life, first and foremost, Jesus goes to the cross to save us. It's about him first. And anti Lent, folks, I love you. Look, I understand that Lent may trigger you with all of that Roman Catholicism that you think it's that's attached to it. My inv invitation to you is to think about it as 40 days of repentance. Because if we say 40 days of something, then all of a sudden we like it. Well, the OG 40 days is 40 days of Jesus headed to the cross. 40 days of spring, 40 days of Lent. And, and the thing that you are upset about, Lent being about us, is the thing that I'm trying to teach you against. It's not about us us. It's about him. And it becomes about us because we're repenting of it being about us. So repent about you and fix your eyes on Jesus's Lent for you because his Lent saves. You can make all the changes. You can do all the things that you want to do. You can change your diet. You can change the way you look. You can change the way you feel. You can lose weight. You can exercise. You can give up this sin or that sin please do. You can do all the things that you want to do and connect it all to Lent. And still, the only thing that will save you, the only hope that you have, the only salvation that we have is in Jesus Christ, his suffering and death for us. It's the majority of the gospels. The majority of each gospel is the passion narrative. That's what most of it is. The same can be said for us. Our life as Christians should be centered on the suffering, passion, and 
and resurrection of Jesus. He died so that we would live. He was crucified for our sins, but he was raised for our justification. More on this text tomorrow, but today it's enough to say Lent is first about Jesus. He does it for you first. I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.